Hello Teacher Den, in this video I will be presenting my seafloor spreading model. Firstly, these two pieces of paper right here and slit right here in the middle represent the magma, this and the ridge, this that the magma goes through. Now the ridge is formed upon two divergent tectonic plates. The, 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 the divergent tectonic plates, they form a gap between them as they diverge from each other through which the magma, this, from the interior of the earth, particularly the mantle, seeps. As the magma seeps out, it turns into rock, forms the seafloor, and is pushed away the ridge it came from by new magma coming out of it. This is a consistent process that doesn't stop. Now, if you notice, the paper is colored with varying colors. Each one represents one million years. So, the farther away from the ridge, the older, more solid, and more dense the rock. And the opposite is true the nearer the ridge, meaning this is a very slow and gradual process. Now, over the course of millions of years, depending on the width of the ocean floor, this crust meets an oceanic trench. This. Across which <clears throat> there is a continental crust. This, on either side, they represent the continental, continental crust. Now, because the oceanic crust, which is this, is denser than the continental crust, because it's denser, of course, over the course of millions of years, it really solidified and hardened into very hard rocks. It is subducted, goes down, meaning that upon colliding with the continental crust, it goes down while the continental crust goes up. So that's the process of subduction. And through intense friction, the oceanic crust is melted into liquid. It then goes down the trench and back into the mantle. Now, this process re repeats itself. Essentially, the Earth is recycling itself. It recycles itself this way.